Hello, today I'd just like to show you how you can make a, a small quilt out of two fat quarters plus some border fabrics. So I've done a pattern for this, it's uh, fairly simple, it's available as a free download on my website gourmetquilter.com um, and you can just go and grab that if, you, if you're interested um, and it just runs through the cutting measurements and roughly what you have to do in order to make that quilt. So I thought I'd show you today how we go about cutting um, for something like that just so that you get it out of your two fat quarters and um, so a fat quarter is approximately 18 inches along a selvage and half the width of a fabric so somewhere in the order of 21 22 inches wide so I'm going to uh, fold that in half I've got two fat quarters here I've got these very delicious little crabs although they probably don't like to be thought of as being delicious and some whales that I thought worked quite well together and I'm going to cut them both together. So what we're going to cut from these is actually some five inch squares. So I just thought I'd show you how I would go about doing that. So I've got my two fat quarters. Now I folded them with the selvage as the long edge. Um, so I, I want to be able to cut across the width of the fabric basically, um, but it's only half as wide as a normal bolt. So I'm going to line these up nicely so everything's sitting nice and straight. This is my folded edge down here. And so that's lined up nice and straight on my board. My other edge is sitting nice and straight. And I'm just going to trim off um, the end here uh, so that it's a nice starting point, a nice straight line. So I've got both fat quarters laid one on top of the other so I can cut them both at the same time. And if, you, if you're using your board and things to line up, things kind of sit nicely. You don't need to worry too much about them moving. I wouldn't cut too many layers. This, is, this gives me four layers of fabric doing it that way and that's probably enough. Now because I'm cutting five inch squares, I'm going to cut a five inch strip and then I'm going to cut another five inch strip and yet another. So that's three five inch strips and there's just this little bit left over which can end up in my trim to a usable size and end up in my uh, leftovers pantry. So now I've got these these strips that are the um, full width of the fat quarter and I'm going to lay those now one on top of the other again because we're going to make some five inch squares and so I can actually lay three fabrics together and the same here so that was that is using all of that those strips that we've just cut from our fat quarters this is kind of a fun way it uses up a fat quarter sometimes we've got a couple of fat quarters that we like together but not sure what else to do with them this quilt is only a small quilt so it lends itself to a child's quilt but you may not want to give it to a child it might be for the cat it might be for the dog it might be simply that you've decided people don't need a large quilt and they're getting a small quilt there's any number of reasons for having small quilts so this one i'm going to now trim off my selvages Selvages are not helpful, they often shrink in the wash. So I've got three layers of fabric in the strips, but I've got two side by side here so that I can cut through them because my rule is long enough to go right the way across. So I can cut them all in the one go. So now I'm going to cut across here at five inches. My strips are five inches wide. I want five inch squares. So I'll cut along at five inches. And again, slide all the way along. And again, and we can just get one more out over to the 20 inch mark which is going to be four five inches across the strip and these bits are probably not really big enough to go in my leftovers pantry um, so what I've ended up cutting from each fat quarter we've got uh, 12 five inch squares so that's how, my, how many five inch squares you can get out of a fat quarter and that works quite nicely it's, it's a very usable uh, number of squares and we're just going to alternate those on a quilt. So I'll just lay it out a little bit so you can get a bit of an idea. But I was also just going to quickly show you the border cutting and binding and things as well, just so that we've gone through the whole process so that if you download the pattern, you'll know exactly what you're going to do next. So those are my squares. And then I've got, the pattern tells you that you need to have some fabric for the border. So this is going to be my main uh, border fabric. And this is going to be on the pattern here I've shown a, a narrow border and a binding so I'm actually going to use this plain uh, solid green for that part and then 
cut out from that other fabric for the main border. So it tells me here that I need to have for the border one and binding I need about half a yard or in metric 40 centimeters of fabric and again I'm going to so this is the full width of the fabric now and it's folded over in half and then folded again so just make sure everything's sitting nice and straight and you can cut through that all in one go rather than having a great long length that you're trying to deal with which is a little bit difficult as long as everything's sitting straight and you can line things up so they're nice and straight that should work nicely for you if, if your fabrics are a little bit skew if you could end up with some difficulties but hopefully we are okay today so I folded that over in half and half again and now I need to cut for my border one and bind border one I need to cut some one and a half inch strips for the that first border around so I'm just going to come along again I'm using the markings on my board and I'm going to cut I probably actually only need three of those and then for my binding I need to cut four strips and I usually cut my bindings two and a half inches wide so I'm just going to continue on now and cut those And there's a little bit left over in case you find you do need another bit for that inner border. So that can go over there ready to be trimmed for my leftovers pantry. So that's my four binding strips. But when I'm doing a quarter, I often do it this way. I get everything cut out before I sew. I like to have it all ready to go. Now this is my main border fabric. Again, it's the full width of the fabric. And I'm folding that in half and half again. Now because this has kind of got straight lines in the design I probably want to just be a little bit aware that it's not going to sit too crooked. I'm not going to worry if it's just a little bit skew with but I kind of like to make sure things are reasonably straight. Um, and everything's looking pretty good. Things are lining up fairly well there. And the same thing I'm going to line that up on my board. So I've got four layers of fabric that I'm cutting through. But that seems to work okay. And for this one we needed to have for the main border 5 eighths of a yard or in metric 50 centimetres and we need to cut that into four and a half inch strips and we'll need to cut four of those. So I'm just going to come along now, I've just trimmed off my edges so I've got a nice straight edge to start with and come along to the four and a half inch That's two of them couple. These will need to be cut to length when you've got the quilt top together. In the meantime, they just they're ready to to cut them to length. So that's all ready when you get to that stage and this is probably going to be some leftovers. So I'll just quickly lay this out just to show you. The plan was to simply alternate the fabrics. So you just want a couple of fat quarters that work well together. And these were just so delicious, how could you not have them? And I just think that's kind of fun. So we need to go that way a little bit so I can show you the borders around it. So I'm not going to sew today, you know how to sew. These just get sewn up in rows across with a quarter inch seam allowance. Um, but I just thought if I gave you a bit of an idea of how, um, how it can look and that two delicious fat quarters will make you a lovely quilt if you've just got something extra for some borders as well. So then I would be having my narrow border which will of course be cut to length when we get to that stage. And I can probably show you three sides. And then this is the main border. So remember the seam allowances will be coming out of this so everything will be just slightly narrower. So I probably would put my sides on first and then I do the top and bottom. So they're going to go there and then this one's going to be longer over here. Just to give you a bit of an idea of what that's going to look like. And then again I've got this, uh, this yummy green 
for the binding and uh, we've got a little bit of green in our crabs here so I picked out the green and it just kind of works really well with all those other fabrics and then I've got a very delicious sailing boat to go on the back so that's going to be kind of a, a fun quilt probably um, somebody who likes sailing or maybe somebody who's just a little bit crabby might like that one um, so that was just to show you how that works with two fat quarters plus some borders and I have made a quilt so I'll quickly show you that and this one has got owls and trees and things on it and it's kind of fun it's it's a very usable size for a small person um, it would be nice on a table maybe you'd like to make one for your, your pet the cats and dogs love quilts or as I said maybe somebody only needs a small quilt so that was just that idea don't forget if you would like to you can download that pattern off my website gourmetquilter.com and it's free so thank you